are we going to change shells with all these predators around? All of them would gobble up any hermit crab they found out of his shell. You're right. I don't think we can leave these shells until we find new ones. until I find a new one! Whoa! Good thing Hermit Crab's shell armor works! There's one. It's a little bit bigger. and looks perfect for me. I'll take this and then you can have mine and... Uh-oh, uh, the Hermit Crab inside looks bigger too. Whoa! Easy, Bruiser! I didn't know you were in there! Ugh. Hey, Chris, check it out! Hermit crabs use their claws to battle over territory. Oh, nice move. Let me try. Hey, come on, Martin. Quit fooling around. My shell's so tight, I'm feeling the squeeze. Uh, okay. You win. What in the creature world? What are they lining up for? I didn't know hermit crabs went to the movies. <laughs> Very funny, Martin. They must be lining up for something. Well, let's get in line and find out what. Here's the end. Now, wait our turn. Hey, no cutting. Oh, oh come on. That's even worse than cutting. I don't even know the rules to hermit crab lineups. I think I do. The hermit crabs have organized themselves in a line from biggest to smallest. Wow, cool! But I'm confused. Does this mean hermit crabs are very smart or very polite? How and why would hermit crabs do this? I guess we'll just have to wait in line and find out. You won't have to wait long. Something's happening. This is unbelievable! Hermit crabs line up to exchange shells? <laughs> I never knew this was possible, but now we have new awesome shells too. The hermit crab shell exchange really works. Yeah, and now all we have to do is get back to normal size. Got you covered. The miniaturizer is fixed and ready to make your hermit crab powers giant size. Cool! Plus, you won't outgrow your shell anymore, and you'll be big enough to deal with Gourmand. If we're gonna rescue Koki, we better do it the Wild Kratz way. And I've got just the thing. <gasps> Flying fish power! Now this is more like it. An invention by Aviva. To, to the, the Koki, Koki rescue! rescue! Reaching takeoff speed, 56 kilometers per hour. Let's do it! Flying fins, ready. Set for maximum lift. Tail power up to 70 swishes per second. Let's fly, fishies! Whoa! Whoa! Aviva, Aviva you, you did, did it! it. We're, We're flying fish! fish. I'm gonna have to swim for it. Huh? Oh no! It's too sticky! Ah, it's no use! I'm... I'm stuck! Chris, if we're gonna spot Koki out here, we're gonna need to get up higher than a flying fish's maximum six meters flight height. You're right! We need to fly higher than a flying fish has ever flown before. I hope the suits can handle it. Aviva made these suits. Somehow, I think they'll hold up. Turbo, Turbo tail switch! switch. Woohoo! Ho -ho! Now this is what I call a bird's eye view. Make that a flying fish eye view, brother. There, something tiny, right down there. Activate visual zoom. It's Koki. Let's go. <gasps> 
forgetting something? Creature pod, binoculars, miniaturizer, night vision goggles, duct tape, extra socks. Enjoy! Yes! Hey, is it just me or is that kind of bumpy for a mudslide? Uh, yeah. And that mudslide has eyes. <gasps> An alligator! Uh, Jimmy? Now would be a good time to send those otter power disks. Zap it! Activate otter powers! Let's show this gator some otter pack defense. Have you ever seen an alligator before either, buddy? I mean, you've got to look out for these big reptiles. They're predators. Yeah, if they surprise you, they can catch you. Once you know an alligator's around, your awesome swimming powers can easily keep you away from those jaws. And once he's lost the element of surprise, the alligator gives up. He knows he can't get you. <laughs> Slider is totally clueless about how to survive in the swamp. <laughs> it's like he's not even from these parts. I know, but he must be. How else would he have gotten here? Come on, his family must be around here someplace. Let's find them. Come on, Slider. Let's try this way. What's up, Slider? Oh, I get it. You're hungry again. Hey, bro, it looks like he wants to catch a bigger fish. And it looks like he still needs our help. Well, now that we have otter powers, we can catch some bigger fish for him. Okay, here's how you do it. We'll work as a team. <gasps> See that bluegill over there? I'll swim in front of the fish so he's looking at me, and then you rush up behind him and catch him. Got it? Uh, no, no, Slider, stay there. Uh, Chris, a little help? Oh, hang on there, Slider. Wait till Martin's in position. Hey, look at me. <laughs> okay, go catch a fish. Somebody grabbed your fish! An osprey! Wow! Now that's an amazing fish-catching hawk! All right, so why do mosquitoes want our blood? Let's figure it out, bro. Miniaturize! Oh, yeah, this'll do it. No alligator is ever gonna notice us when we're insect size. And since the life of a mosquito starts in the water, that's a good place for us to start, too. Begin investigation now! Woohoo! Uh, a little muckier than most of the water we've been in, but check it out. They're just part of the bug life to him. Whoa! It's like a little army of these worm-like creatures. Hey, have we met? That face looks pretty familiar. That's because it's the same face that bit your arm. Ha! Baby, Baby mosquitoes. mosquitoes! We're in the middle of a mosquito nursery. 
This is the beginning life stage of the mosquito, the larva. They hatch out of these little eggs. Oh, more mosquito larvae on the way. Hey, what are you doing? He's trying to chow on my creature pod. He thinks it's a piece of algae. Look, that is what they eat. <laughs> but this is an algae, bud. It's sensitive equipment. Hey, guys, what's up? Sorry, we didn't call you. He did. Oh, well, what does he want? He wanted to tell you that mosquito larvae eat algae, not blood. Yeah, so far, at this stage of life, a mosquito has no use at all for any creature's blood. Okay, well, let's... Hey, easy on the creature pod. Uh, what was that? <gasps> Don't know. Okay, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. What was that thing? He's a jet-powered monster insect creature. Swim! Swim! Cool your jets, buddy. Look out for the jaws. I have no idea what that is, but it's fast, has huge jaws, and is very, very hungry. Mm. Oh, no. I know what you're thinking, and you can forget it. Come on, what if that's a new species? One that we can discover? Yeah, and he's probably looking at us thinking, what if they're a new species? One that I can eat? We can't go looking for them when we're mini like this. Besides, remember the mystery, right? The mystery. Why do mosquitoes steal people's blood in the first place? Exactly. We know it's got nothing to do with the larvae, so let's get out of here and look at the adult life stage. Let's do it. Well, whatever you are, bye-bye. <sighs> Where are we? Inside the beaver's lodge. Whoa! There's a whole beaver family in here. Hey, we, we know, know these, these beavers. beavers! It's Timber and Sticker! And Buddy! And Twig! These are the same beavers from the summer! You're right, Gavin, they are. When it was warm and everything was green and they were eating the leaves and twigs. But now it's cold and everything's snow covered and no leaves are growing. So what do these vegetarians eat in the winter? Well, whatever they have in the fridge, of course. Fridge. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> fridge. No, I'm serious. Beavers have a fridge. Of course, that's right. A natural fridge. Beavers collect branches with leaves and twigs in the summer, and they store them in the cool water right at the entrance to the lodge. The chilly water keeps the sticks fresh all winter, and <laughs> it's all right there whenever a beaver wants a snack. A natural refrigerator. That means the hard-working beaver has collected and refrigerated all the food the whole family needs for the entire winter. Can we just hang out with them and warm up for a little? <laughs> hey, Timber. Thanks for warming us up. You know, you might have the warmest fur in the creature world. Yeah, but it's time to get going. Uh, bro, we're frozen under the ice. Uh-oh, and in here. But there must be air holes so the beaver can breathe. You're right. All we have to do is find an air hole, and then we're out. And then can we play hockey? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Whoa, this beaver lodge really is an impenetrable fortress. And every air hole is too tiny for us to get through. I've got it. Beaver Power built this lodge, so Beaver Power can get us out. Hey, my Beaver Power disk is missing. Did you borrow it, bro? I don't think so. I can't find mine either. Hmm. Oh. Hey, I found mine. Oh, and yours. Why in the world did you put your creature disc in my boot? Oh. Activate beaver power! Let's get these beaver teeth chewy. Later, sticker. Woo. All right, big guy. Where are you headed now? Hmm. 
What is that mound? Something's under there. <gasps> of course! Panthers hide food they can't finish and save it for later. It's called a cache, and it can last under the cool earth for days until they're hungry again. If only I could get just a piece of that for those cubs. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I do have panther power. One of the greatest, stealthiest creatures on Earth. Now's my chance. Okay, okay, easy, guys. I told you, you can't snack on the babysitter. Did someone say snack? Martin, you made it. Oh, yeah, and I brought panther snacks. Ta-da! Yeah, I brought food for the hungry cubs. I am the panther provider, the greatest hunter in the swamp. You again? No! Hang on! That's for SWAT! He ate it! And he's still hungry! Crunch! SWAT! Oh no! Oh, Mama Panther! She's back! I can't believe it. A rarely seen battle between a Florida panther and an alligator. Gators will sometimes eat young panthers. And panthers will sometimes eat young gators. But standoffs like these usually end in a draw. Yes! She did it! She saved her cubs! Mama Panther to the rescue! And look! She even came with dinner! Looks like our cub sitting job is over! And here's our pickup! Found ya! Bye, Swan! Bye, Crunch! Mission accomplished! We found the rare Florida Panther! awesome predator of the swamp. And we even helped them out a little bit. Yeah! Mom's leg is looking a lot stronger. <laughs> Look, Crunch and Swat are so happy to have her back. All right, I'm ready. Find out how an osprey finds and catches fish. And then, with osprey powers, we'll be able to find the Tortuga Key. Oh, we're on it. So if we find an area with a lot of fish, we have the best chance of finding an osprey. Whoa! 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 Careful what you wish for, bro! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> we found a lot of fish, all right. Oh, but we're in the danger zone. Let's get higher to where the ospreys soar. Osprey! All right, it worked. He likes mini us. When we're small size, he doesn't mind us flying with him at all. Osprey sidekicks calling Floating Turtle. Come in, Floating Turtle. Aviva here. Floating Turtle, we're with the Osprey. Are you ready to receive observations? Bring it, bros. Okay, it looks like the Osprey starts his fish hunt by soaring. He can hold this flying position effortlessly because warm air rises up from the water. And he is scanning, watching the water. The osprey has incredible powers of sight. I mean, look at that eye. When I look at the water, all I can see is a glare coming off the water's surface. But osprey eyes have the ability to cut through the glare of the water's surface and spot fish silhouettes. When he sees a fish near the surface, he folds in his wings and dives. A diving osprey can drop to the water at 120 kilometers per hour. He always comes in at an angle so that the fish can't see his shadow. Then he swings his talons forward and... Splash! Grab the fish! Huh, suddenly he's got extra weight and has to work those pectoral muscles and flap his wings hard to gain altitude. Got it, guys. This is great stuff. 
But I need more info on the Osprey's feet. What are they like? The talons are black, long, thin, and very, very pointy on the end. They are definitely used for gripping the fish. Hey, there's more. The toes. Each toe has hundreds of little hooks, and this must help to hold onto slippery fish skin. That makes sense. Ospreys have to have special gripping feet to grab slippery fish out of the water. I've got what I need. Aviva, okay, meet Jill and her babies. Joey, Lil Jack, Jojo right there, and... Hey, where's Jilly Bean? She's not in the pouch. Uh-oh, you're not looking for my backpack, are you? <gasps> She's looking for Jilly Bean. Her baby is lost? Aww. I can just imagine what must have happened. Jilly Bean is happily riding in her mom's comfy pouch when she sees thousands of colorful balloons rising through the forest. Jilly Bean reaches for one and... What? Balloons? In the forest? Well, I like balloons, but maybe that's not exactly what happened. Right, yeah, maybe I got a little carried away. Okay, more like this. Jilly Bean's happily riding in her mom's comfy pouch. She decides to reach out for a nice ripe cocoa plum, and she falls right out of her mom's pocket. Problem is, mom doesn't notice because everyone else is crawling all over her. And she heads off on her way. And little Jilly Bean is left all alone by accident. Oh no! Jilly Bean could be anywhere! This search just got a whole lot more challenging. Everybody fan out and keep your eyes peeled for a backpack and an opossum. a little fur sample, Jill. This'll help me make an opossum disc for the creature power suit. And pronto. I'm sure you have some amazing nighttime powers that will help us with our search, even though we don't exactly have time to find out what they are first. Chris, Martin, first one here gets to search with an opossum disc. Me, me, oh, me! No way! Martin's not touching home base! Hey, he's got a point. Woohoo! Yes! Aw, that's a rip! But it doesn't matter. I've got two discs. Yes! <laughs> Just getting you here a little quicker. Activate, Activate opossum, opossum power! power. You found me! I can't believe you test drove the stone digger before it was ready! Even when I told you not to! And you destroyed it! It wasn't ready! I'm sorry, Aviva, but it, it was ready! It worked! Look! It drilled right through that mountain, see? It took me to this hidden prairie where I discovered a new colony of the very endangered black-footed ferret! <gasps> black-footed ferret? I love them! A new colony? That's incredible! Where are they? Uh, that's the only problem. Zack stole them. <gasps> no! But they're so endangered! The new colony is all gone? Mm-hmm. <gasps> well, all except this one. Hi, que lindo. His name is Bandito. Oh, great! A creature pod! Hey, everybody! Aviva found me! All right. right on! Mission accomplished! But now we've got a creature rescue on our hands. Zack has stolen a colony of black-footed ferrets and flown off with them. Black-footed ferrets? Now we've got to find Zack's plane. He's camouflaged as a cloud again! <sighs> hmm. This could take a while. I'll use the amazing flying powers of the Peregrine Falcon to dive through every cloud until I pump into Zack. 
Normal cloud, normal cloud, normal cloud, normal cloud, normal cloud. Okay. Zack was bragging about how he had a new lockdown mode for his plane and that it was impenetrable. We're gonna need a way to get in. We might want to salvage the stone digger. What? Ah! Ah! Uh, I've got some tape? Ah! You have no idea what it takes to put inventions together. Huh. And we could also get some help from Bandito's black-footed ferret power. <laughs> uh, yeah, feel like programming a new power disk? Uh-huh. Okay, he's got a long body that's perfectly designed for scooting through the tightest places. Even the twistiest tunnels can't slow him down. <laughs> and has sharp teeth because he's a little predator. What's the Stalin black mask for? <laughs> yeah, that's to cut down the sun's glare when he looks out over the prairie. Let's program some creature powers. <laughs> you are one power-packed little creature. I say, Lewis, those bison horns must come in quite handy out here. Oh, I to that, Mr. Clark. What with those plains grizzly bear and those prairie wolves afoot, they don't even seem concerned. Yonder, a calf on the outside. Oh, the mother bison is formidable, and the herd is a force. Tis no wonder they mostly take those who no longer can keep up with the herd and things that get scared up by the bison's feet. Oh, true. When the herd comes through, tis best to get out of the way. No! Oh, earthquake! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, whoa! Go! Oh. Oof! Ah. Whoa! Those Lewis and Clark dreams are intense! It's not an earthquake, it's a bison quake! Ah! Uh, really? A dust bath now? Ah. I know dust baths help keep your skin clear of pesky flies. I may be pesky, but I'm not a fly. Guys, come in. The sooner the better with that disc. This ride is getting rougher, you know. Almost there, Chris. Just printing it out now. Get ready for some serious bison power, Martin. Martin, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Activate bison power. Whoa, I've never felt better. I'm big and tough and... Oh. Oops. Hey, what are you guys doing down there? Get up and let's move. Stop! Martin, easy! You're wrecking the place! Oh, <laughs> oops. Martin, get control of that bison power. I mean, bison are strong, but they're not clumsy. They're actually pretty graceful. Okay, I'm a bison. I'm strong, tough, and graceful. I can even leap two meters high like a wild bison can. Better? Better. I'm ready for anything. Ah, then get ready to get out here, pronto! Right, on my way. Faster than a bison stampede. Charge! The score is 2-1. Team Gator is in the lead, but Team Croc is catching up. Hey, you guys are getting away from me. Time to relocate. I'm bringing the Tortuga right where Croc and Gator habitat overlap. Come on, hurry, Aviva. Team Croc is catching up. Listo. The alligator power programming is complete. Great. Uh, whoa! Uh, sorry about that. I think I'll just go for a walk around the alligator hole. Uh, Aviva, would you mind touching his tail? What? No, that's your department. Just pretend. Oh. Ah. Ah. Activate 
alligator powers. Now I'll go into the alligator hole. Because we're about the same size, we won't have any problems. Right, buddy? What are you talking about? Alligators of the same size usually get along okay. So, let's check out this hole you dug. Oh, hey, this is nice. Cool and fresh. <sighs> A nice place to get out of the sun and cool down. This alligator hole is also a refuge for all these other animals. Frogs, largemouth bass, soft-shell turtles. Oh, that's refreshing. Koki, steer the amphis up closer so I can activate croc powers. Ah! Oh, missed him. Faster, Koki. He's heading out to sea. He must be after something. On it. What? This croc is attacking a tiger shark. Go, Koki, go. This is a never before seen moment. Crocodile versus tiger shark. I can't believe it. Incredible. The crocodile is going right at the shark. And the shark's not backing down. Whoa. Crocodiles are aggressive. Get us closer, Koki. I can almost touch him. Ah. Whoa! Whoa! He made one of the most aggressive sharks in the world back down. The crocodile is so much more aggressive. Than an alligator. Because it lives in a bigger, tougher environment. A point for Team Croc. The Crocogator contest is tied. 2-2. Two -two. Woohoo! Yeah. How much farther is that finish line? Not much. Looks like Team Predator has this race sewn up. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. To the finish line. <sighs> Come on, Jackbox, to the finish line. And this is the last time you'll see me running ever again. <laughs> Hey, where's everybody going? Uh, I guess when you're a predator, you don't make a lot of friends. Everybody runs, flees, hides, flies. Uh oh! Or just stands tough and strong. Uh, look, I I'm just passing through. You see, it's a race. I don't want to cause a stampede or anything. Oh, hey, Martin. Excuse me. Just in a little rush. Have a great day. See ya, Wolf Paw. Okay, I'll go around. Yeah, it won't be long before that trophy is ours. You mean ours? They're coming! Where? There! Go, Viva! Go, Martin! Uh, gotta keep... Pushing. <gasps> okay, so a wild dog has great stamina, but we can't run forever. <sighs> I'm burning up. Oh, this is gonna be close. Do you have the camera ready, Jimmy? Check. Here they come. You got him, Aviva. Go, go, go. Go, Martin, go. Come on. Keep running, keep running, Martin. Come on, you can do it. Go, Aviva, go. <laughs> Jimmy, who won? It's Team Fast Feet by a tip of the horn. Woohoo! Aw, so close. <sighs> Woohoo! What a race! Way to go, Aviva! Congratulations, guys. You earned it. Great race! <laughs> you won fair and square. Pacer! You're already here. You beat everybody. Guys, according to the numbers from the race and results I've been getting from scientists studying animal speed, the best all-around runner is the pronghorn antelope. <laughs> when it comes to running, there's really nobody better than a pronghorn antelope. 
the second fastest animal in the world in a sprint. Whoa! <gasps> Look at all those little ground squirrels. You're right, Aviva. They are a kind of ground squirrel. Popular name, prairie dog. One of the largest ground squirrels in North America. A prairie dog town can be huge. The biggest one ever was 65,000 square kilometers wide and home to 400 million prairie dogs. That's a lot of meals for a coyote. Hey, where is our coyote? I don't know. He was here just a minute ago. Do you hear that? That's the jump yip, a prairie dog's warning call. So that means... Hmm. There. Wait, that's not a coyote. That's a cokey. Yip? What's she doing? A jump yip. But I have no idea why. All the prairie dogs are wondering, too. Yip. There's Tracker. See how smart coyotes are? He's using Koki as a decoy. While all the prairie dogs are distracted by Koki, our coyote is sneaking up on lunch. in some kind of prairie dog trance. It was like those sounds. The jump yips? Yeah, were contagious. I couldn't stop jump yipping. Uh, let's get out of here before they start jump yipping again. Huh? What were you doing wandering around in prairie dog town anyway? Well, Chris said meet at the prairie dogs, didn't he? They're the most common animal. That's why you're here, right? Well, actually, I started at the prairie chicken. And I was chasing a prairie falcon around at first. Until we joined up with this prairie wolf. AKA Coyote, whose name is now Tracker, and he led us here to you. We think the prairie wolf will lead us to everybody, no matter what animal they thought Chris said to meet up at. Sounds good to me. Let's keep following your prairie wolf. AKA Coyote. Now this is a rarely seen before moment, a face-off between a venomous prairie rattlesnake and a predatory prairie king snake. Most animals will heed the rattlesnake's warning because they won't want to receive a venomous bite. Oh, rattlesnake venom doesn't even affect him, making the king snake a deadly predator of the rattlesnake. And like he does with all his prey, the king snake swallows the rattlesnake whole. Well, that's nature. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, Jimmy! Easy, Jay-Z. Those bison have you really nervous, huh? Bison? No, I'm talking about the buffalo bush. You wouldn't believe what I saw. Freaky, like mystery freaky. Freaky? Mystery? Oh, this I gotta hear. Was it a creature or what? Sorry to interrupt your little chit-chat, but we gotta go, now. Come on, Jimmy, to the cockpit. We gotta see this. Let's get out there, quick! And lift. Wait, we're too late. Yup, we're surrounded. Ooh, lifting off now would cause a stampede, and we can't do that. We're stuck. Gotta wait till they pass through, guys. Chris, Martin? Hey, where'd they go? Whoa! Jimmy was right. This is weird. Who did that? Hung all those insects up like that? I don't know. But we've got another creature mystery on our hands, bro. A weasel? Gotta be some kind of predator. Only one way to find out. <gasps> A stakeout. Oh, we'll get mini-sized, so whoever it is won't even see us spying on them. Miniaturized! All right, the mystery of the prairie thorn bush has begun. Woohoo! Woo All is quiet right now. Hmm. Uh, 
Just a cute little gray birdie at the top of that bush. Ooh, and check it out. A prairie king snake basking down below. Huh? Whoa! He got the snake! What? That little songbird thinks he's an eagle or something. I know. He just has little stick legs, not talons. And he's tiny. Who is that guy? Oh! Ah! oh no, it's another one. Ah! Oh! Hey! Oh! Wait! Oh! 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 Chameleon power discs complete. Wahoo! Yeah! Wow, Aviva! Thanks! You're the inventiest inventor. Activate, Activate chameleon, chameleon powers! <laughs> this is awesome! What are you doing? Huh? Whoa! Ah! Ow! I told you so! A malfunction like this is exactly why I was inventing the ring chip. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. The chameleon programming is malfunctioned! The tongue mechanism shoots out every time you open your mouth. Cool! Huh? control of those tongues. Every time you open your mouths and talk, your chameleon tongues shoot out. We'll just keep our mouths closed then. Till we get the hang of it. To, to the, the ring chip rescue! rescue! Okay, if that's chameleon speed, I'm worried. Up and cover more ground. Good luck, bro! Oh. Oh. Ah. Watch it, Martin! Ah. Not again. Ah. <laughs> How are they doing, Koki? Put it this way, Aviva. You might want to start working on Ring Chip 2.0. Uh. I'll just wait for a lemur to come by me. My camouflage hides me. I blend into the forest, ready for ambush. My eyes move, looking in every direction. But the rest of me stays still until a golden bamboo lemur comes by. Hello. Just checking to see if you accidentally took a Viva's ring chip. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Okay, you didn't. Sorry for the inconvenience. Enjoy your lunch. Gotta keep looking. Chris! Where are you? Why would he have left his parachute? He didn't go looking for Fusas, did he? Wow! Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. Didn't see you there. Cool! A Madagascar hissing cockroach. One of the biggest cockroaches in the world. Love the hissing sound you make. <laughs> Definitely stopped me from sitting on you. So the old, I'm gonna startle you and make you back off hiss, really does work. There you go. Get back to eating rotten logs and fruits and stuff. Huh? Chris? Is that you? A ten wreck. Oh, whoa, well he's going someplace in a hurry. I don't believe it. A Fusa! Incredible! In the trees on the ground, no creature safe with a Fusa around. Hmm, you know what? Somehow I get a feeling. If I follow the Fusa, I just might find my brother. Hey, wait up! Oh, lost him. 
Human climbing powers just don't cut it when you're following a Fusa. Yikes. I better get back to that parachute so they can find me. But which way is it? Might need to refuel first. Only one bite left. Should I? Hmm. If I eat it now, then I'll be all out of food until they find me. But if I save it, then maybe I won't be so hungry later. Oh, who am I kidding? I've got to eat! <gasps> hey, where'd my granola bar go? <gasps> you, a Fusa cub! You look like you're only about four months old. Hey, but where's your mama? Over here! Martin! How'd you find me? <laughs> I just followed the Fusa, and she led me right to you. Like you said, it's a Fusa Palooza. We found them, bro! <laughs> yeah! Ow, 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 ow! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Easy with those semi retractable claws, buddy! <laughs> A key to climbing! Those sharp claws really grip onto the tree trunks! Ow! <laughs> but I'm not a tree trunk! <laughs> You're doing great, buddy! You'll be up in those trees in no time! Up in the trees? I almost forgot! Danita! She's stealing lemurs! We gotta stop her! What? But we're already late for Mother's Day. Right, so we gotta stop her fast. Any ideas? Ooh, I think the answer is right in front of your face. Of course, we gotta be the Fusa! <gasps> hey, get away from there! Shoo, shoo! I don't think it's safe leaving the miniaturizer here. Last thing we need is a couple of super-sized lemurs running around the Tortuga. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! <Whoa. laughs> wow! How far was that? Afar! But here, I'll measure the next one. Wow! Six meters! That would be like you and me when we're real size, jumping from the basketball net on one side of the court to the other end in a single leap. Whoa. Here we go again. Hey, Martin! Lemur back riding was a great idea! Oof. Thanks, Chris. Now I just gotta give our ride a name. Well, he is a great leaper. And when he leaps, he gets a lot of air. Oh, that's it. Your name is Lemur. Whoa! Ah! Hang on! Hey, now we're hanging around getting a snack. Whoa! <laughs> Lemur back riding his wild. Hey, here's the rest of the group. Get ready for some leaping. Hey, what's going on? Well, bro. You want it soft and furry? Now we've got lots of soft and furry. <sighs> yeah! It's so cool how they all hug and sleep in a big old cuddle huddle. <laughs> Pretty cool mission today, huh? The best! And I could hang out with these guys all day long. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh yeah, the old leaf parachute trick. Hey, why don't we change it up a little bit? Wah! Leaf surfing! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> yes! Leaf surfing! Hank five! Woohoo! <laughs> Catching a breeze! Woo! Oh yeah! Oh my! Yeah! Oh, go. Ahoy, mateys! Is that right? Aye, Aye, Captain, that's, that's pirate speak. Arg! Let's, um, heave ho over the blimey and there she blows. Huh? You just said, let's push it really hard over the wow and I see a whale. Hmm. Aye, aye? Uh, that means I'll do it. Like, aye, aye, Captain, I'll do it. Okay, but you gotta admit, pirate speak is weird. I mean, like,
Like, what's the difference between I and I, I again? Okay, let's start there. I means yes, and I, I means I'll do it. Got it? Let's see. I. Fly me, matey. That's right. Put that pirate hat back on. I, I. There. Now you walk the plank. What? We just helped you, and now I have to walk the plank? I, I, matey. Wait, I just said I'll do it, right? Mm-hmm. Ugh, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I. Now walk the plank, arg. I, I. But, Captain, me gonna be shark bait for sure. Arg! <gasps> okay, Chris, you can come up now. Chris? Where'd he go? Sperm whale power! See, I bumped into our buddy Bumper down there. Hey, Bumper! Oh, the sperm whale! Oh, and there's Bumper's mom! There she blows! Hold on! <gasps> Bumper, you better catch up to your mom! See you later, buddy! Thanks for the whale power! Okay, pirates! We gotta batten down the hatches! There's a big storm on the way! Look! Yikes! So come aboard now! Whoa! Aye, Koki! She means aye, aye, Koki. We'll do that! Oh, yeah. Aye, aye, Koki! Let's go! Tortuga has a double layer shell system with a shock absorbing air vent core in between. Shells hold. Oh! 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 This storm is awesome! Wow, I've got to get a closer look at those lemur legs in action. I'm thinking there might be a great power suit here. Okay! Bro, what are you doing? Hold this. You'll see. No. Oh. Oh. Now that's what I call vertical clinging and leaping. Vertical clinging and leaping? What's that? That. Wow. Ah. The special way Safaka lemurs leap through the trees. See Bob over there? A Safaka clings to a vertical trunk of a tree. He pushes off with his powerful hind feet, then twists in the air, reaching forward with his feet. And lands on another vertical trunk. This is a really special creature ability. I've got to program some lemur powers. <laughs> now, just to finish the programming on these Sapaka lemur powers. Hold it, Aviva. You don't want to miss this. Lemur dancers. Because their legs are so specialized for tree leaping, they can't even walk or run. This is the only way they can move on the ground. And they don't like to be down for long, because on the ground, those amazing legs become the Safaka's weakness. Huh? Huh? A wheel of cheese? With a pygmy hedgehog, Tenrek? He's heading right for the spiny plants and is going to crash. <laughs> Easy as cheesy. I got this one, bro. Reverse cheese roll! <laughs> Ouch. Hey, buddy. Rolling around in a cheese wheel is no place for you. Pygmy hedgehog tenrex belong living free in the wild. Emmental, a European cheese. In 
Interesting. Hey, it's Mrs. President and Fuzztop. How could she land on all these spines? She must have super tough hands and feet. Wait, they're soft. And not just soft, super duper unbelievably soft. Then how do you land on all those spines? Oh, I get it. She positions her hands and feet so they land on the few spaces in between the spines. <gasps> what? The troop disappeared? Oh, no. Oh, don't worry. We'll find them. Come on. Hmm. Ah, the tails. They help the troop stay together. Ringtails hold that tail high like a flag so the rest of the troop can follow. <laughs> We're coming, Mom! Psst. Huh? It's me. What are you finding out so far? I mean, besides you being the lowest lemur in the group, that is. <laughs> Very funny. Don't worry, I'll find a way to move up in rank. But I'm still looking for clues to the mystery of why they were fighting with Troop Klingon. Hey! Mm, what are you up to? Oh yeah, just what I thought. What? He sent Mark this tree. Lemurs make a smelly oil on the wrists that they rub onto trees and logs in the forest. Leaving the smell is like leaving a little message. Well, what does the message say? Read it. Uh, with your nose, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It says, this is our place. Stay out! Who's he talking to? Other lemurs in other troops. Troop Tamarin is marking their territory, and this is the boundary of their home turf. Hang on. Koki, come in. Koki here. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. I've got your coordinates, and I'm marking the troops' home range right now. Great. Okay, dear any other lemur that smells this smell, this is our turf. Please stay out. Signed, the newest member of Troop Tamarind. There, I like writing letters with lemur stink. <laughs> oh, uh, Jimmy, uh, thanks for doing some dusting. Cleaning up? I'm not cleaning up. I'm scent marking my stuff. Really? Yeah. This is Jimmy's turf. Please stay out. Huh? Martin, come in, little lemur. Hey, Koki. We're busy scent marking, too. <laughs> Everybody in the troop helps. Well, why are they so territorial anyway? Why are they trying to protect? Uh, you're looking at it. You? Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> Not me. This. A tamarind fruit? Well, yeah, all the food, really. The troop wants to make sure to protect an area big enough to keep everyone fed, plus sleeping areas and living space, too. A new golden bamboo lemur has been born. Right! She is still very young and clinging to her mother's back. I think she was born just days ago. They are so rare and so endangered. It is good news. We can't leave Madagascar now. Turn this turtle around. I'm on it. Golden Bamboo Lemur! Golden Bamboo Lemur! Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! So rare and endangered! Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Golden Bamboo Lemurs! Yes! There they are! Wow! The Golden Bamboo Lemur, one of the rarest animals on the planet. Nobody even knew they existed till about 20 years ago. Really? Yeah, and then a pair was found in 1986. It was the discovery of a new species. And they only live here, in a small area of mountain rainforest. And there are only 1,000 living in the wild. And now 1,001, look. <gasps> a new golden bamboo lemur has been born. Ooh. Oh. Aww. I'll name you Gold Puff. Freeze it! I want that one. That little golden monkey! Uh, I think the little girl said lemur. Whatever, fine. 
This golden lemur is more special than the monkey. It will fit perfectly with the golden dress I'm wearing to the Golden Fashion Forward Awards. Full speed to Madagascar! Yes, Peter. I deserve to be dressed in gold. <laughs> oh, they are such a quiet lemur, so secretive. And that's why for the longest time, no one even knew that they existed. And check this out. Millions of years ago, the continents looked a little different than they do today, with lemur ancestors living almost all over the world. They lived together with monkeys on the continent of Africa. But monkeys were smarter and more aggressive and may have outcompeted them. Eventually, some lemur ancestors made their way to the island of Madagascar. Here, the lemur ancestors were free from monkeys and other predators. So they multiplied and evolved into the many different kinds of lemurs on Madagascar today. Oh, I know what we could do. <gasps> what, Danita, what? Get me my sewing kit and some furry material. Yes, Danita. And it's amazing what they can eat. Golden bamboo lemurs crunch through bamboo. And it's not only really hard to chew, but bamboo has a poison called cyanide in it. So how do they eat it? Their stomachs and intestines can somehow handle the poison. That's it, Mama Tenrak. Keep calling. Yeah. Our only hope is if she and Pokey hear each other. I can't believe my treasure hunt caused this mess. It's not your fault, Chris. Anything can happen in an adventure, but that doesn't mean you stop adventuring. Yeah. Wait, look. I think she hears something. Just show us the way, Mama T. Follow that Tenrek. <laughs> Pokey? Hey, Pokey, wait! Oh. <laughs> Pokey, where are you going? Oh, no. Pokey! <laughs> Your mom! Martin, there you are! Hey, you found us! Well, really, they found each other with those awesome quills. Well, we may not have finished the treasure hunt, but am I glad to see you guys. Actually, play that clue you found, Jimmy. You got it. Ride the river downstream to a hole in the riverbank by the setting sun. That's somebody's home, and your Tenrek treasure hunt is done. Hmm. A hole? Ha! You mean that hole? Yep, that's the one. So Martin and Pokey found the hole in the riverbank without even knowing it. Well, I am pretty good at treasure hunts, you know. <laughs> but whose home is it? Whoa, a web-footed Tenrek. <gasps> Maybe the least known of all the Tenreks. And my favorite! Martin, check out the waterproof skin and those webbed feet. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Awesome! That's perfect for swimming and river living. It's called adaptive radiation. They're all Tenrex, but each one has evolved with features they need to make it in different habitats. I had no idea there were so many different kinds of Tenrex. Yep, in Madagascar, there's a Tenrek treasure wherever you look. Whether it's above ground, or underground, and in the water. And they all look different because of where they live. Well, you guys did it. You found all five cool Tenreks. Treasure hunt complete. That was Yay! awesome. I'll take these guys back now while you guys have a swim with a rare Tenrek. Somebody's got to do it. Woohoo! Praying Mantis Discs programmed and ready. Awesome. Hmm. Wait, where's Chris? Oh no, they're still miniaturized. Chris, where are you? We're going after the miniaturizer, but we could use a little backup, bro. You've got it, dude. How about some big bug backup? Yeah! Woohoo! Activate praying mantis power. Ah! 
Oh, yeah! To the creature rescue! Go get him! Uh-oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, no! See? Machine powers are better than creature powers! Quick, back to real size! <laughs> so much for Mantis, Martin! You can't bug me with your puny bug powers anymore! Oh, but I can! Ah! What? And girl praying mantis are much bigger than boys! Oh, boy. Girl praying mantis eat boy praying mantis! Uh, but we're good, Aviva, right? We're good? Oh, yeah, sure. But, Zack, we're not. Oh, no! I need bigger Zack box! Enlarge to giant size! Giant size! Giant size! Looking for this? Oh, give me that! It's mine! I just stole it from you! Huh? <laughs> huh? Ah! How's this for girl power, Zack? Ah! Ah! Please don't eat me! Please don't eat me! Ew, gross! Of course not. But do you promise never to bother harmless animals ever again? Yeah, sure. Never again. Never ever again. Yeah, right. Just get out of here, Zack. Oh! <laughs> we. All right, we're free. Thanks, Gavin. No problem. <sighs> Zack, one more thing. You're gonna have to hand over the praying mantis you captured. Or what? You're not the boss of me! Ah! Okay! Here! Ah! <laughs> You're safe now, girl. We'll get you back home in no time. Just a little more time and we win this game! If we just stay away from rocks and away from the surface, we'll get past level one. Level one? Are you in your video game mode? Why do you think we're winning this thing? Uh-oh, is this predator action? Whoa! Hey! Make up your mind, people. I mean, fish. What's going on? I don't know. But this is like expert level fish mobile. It's them! Ah! To the center! Close it up! Circle round! Okay, we've got them herded up in a ball just like the dolphins do it. Hey, quick, whistle. How does this look? <laughs> oh, yeah, they like it. Now, let's start moving the fish up towards the surface and cut off their escape routes. Going up! Oh, no! Soon we'll have nowhere to go! That's perfect, Chris. They're starting to leap to get away. And I'm ready to catch a fish mobile dolphin style. We're gonna have to leap for it. It's the only way. Then let's do it together. At least one of us should get away. One, two, three. Now! Woohoo! <laughs> Got you this time, Koki. Okay, okay, fine. But Jimmy got away, and you guys are almost out of time. Go, Jimmy! Go! In the clear! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, no! The rest of the pod! Retreat! Retreat! Ah! Wait! No! Easy, Dolphins! We're just playing a game! Swim, Jimmy, swim! Uh oh. Even the Pelicans want in on the action. Pelicans are smart birds. They know an opportunity for food when they see one. They're attracted to the bait ball. <gasps> oh, no! Jimmy! Is it? Phew! <sighs> it's not Jimmy. most intense video game I've ever played, but I'm loving it! We gotta catch Jimmy before these guys do! Gular! 
are. Thanks for dropping in. Activate Pelican Power. To the Jimmy Rescue. Dodo Bird, the classic extinct creature. Oh, we're going, going to see a dodo, dodo bird. Yeehaw, yippee! Going, going to see a dodo, dodo bird. bird. Yes, siree! Okay, guys, let's get the trampoline set. To the balcony. Going, going to see, see a dodo, dodo bird. Yeehaw, yippee! Okay, when did dodo birds go extinct? Hundreds of years ago, around 1690. Right, guys? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So I'll set the time machine to around the early 1600s. And the location? Right there, in the Indian Ocean, the island of Mauritius. Set location. Ready? Ready. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Here, you'll need this to get back. The main trampoline will bounce you back in time. And this remote trampoline will bounce you home to the present day. Don't break it, or let it run low on transistor energy, or you'll get trapped in the past. No problem. Oops. Ah. <laughs> Easy, Gorilla Hands. It's fragile. Uh, speaking of that, someone else has to go. Mm. Koki will do it. You and I are the only ones who know how this works, so one of us should be on each side of the time connection to make sure nothing goes wrong. Well, I wasn't really planning on traveling to the past today, but okay. <laughs> Happening. Go higher! You have to get up to the right jump height to open the time connection. Whoa. Keep going! The further back in time you're going, the higher you need to get! Yeah. There! Jump into the time warp! Got it! Dodo birds, here we come! Let's hope they get there, okay? Ooh, right. Ah! <laughs> We're here! Throw it! Out there! Yes, quick! We need to exit the warp now! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Mauritius Island! Over 400 years ago! Whoa. Whoa. <clears throat> Maybe a trampoline wasn't the best choice for time travel. Take a bad bounce and you never know where you're gonna land. Uh, now we just have to find a dodo. Go, go, ow! Ah, that was easy. A, a dodo, dodo bird. bird! Wow! When Europeans arrived in Tasmania, they started sheep farming and hunting the Tasmanian tigers to extinction. We can't let what happened to the dodo bird happen to the Tasmanian tigers. We have to do something more this time. Yeah, and I want to take this entire family of Tassie tigers forward to the future, where we know they will survive. But that won't help Tasmanian tigers in the wild. We have to teach them how to adapt to the arrival of hunters so they can survive on their own. Eliminate the predators. Oi, oi, Senator. We have to bring them back. We have to teach them here. Aviva! Okay, how about this? We try to teach them here first, and we see how it goes. If it doesn't work, we can take them back with us. Sounds, Sounds like, like a plan. plan. To, to the, the creature, creature rescue. rescue! But whatever we decide to do, you know you'll have to activate... Tasmanian Tiger Power! Oh, oh, now that'll be a blast from the past. Never imagined we'd be doing this. Activate Tasmanian Tiger Power! Wow, awesome! Check out the tail. You can lean back, stand up, and look around. Yeah! Oh, these are the best. I feel like I could run forever. Ha! Check out the yawn gape. Ah, I've got one too. Whoa! And I gave you each your own signature. Have a look at the stripes. A CK. 
An MK. You programmed our initials into our stripes. Wow. Thanks, Aviva. What we have to do now is teach these Tasmanian tigers to avoid humans and not to hunt sheep. I just told Taz, Mom, humans are dangerous, and we're going to teach our whole family how to survive. Well, let's get started. Something. 